It's another moment that I've come to create the video. My health is not good. I've been serious, seriously sick uh, for almost three days, uh, if not four, and I uh, had no energy or strength to do anything. I was just sleeping. I went to the, the hospital and I made uh, all tests, blood and whatever, stool and everything, that, but it's still no disease. But I'm working on my health and taking some of the medicine and, uh, and some I, I, I intend to take those natural remedies actually to clear some of the things like ulcers. Maybe there might be a problem, but though I don't have those serious ulcers, but uh, I, I beg your prayers that you could, uh, you, you have to pray for me, that God will give me strength and, uh, and uh, the spirit and the wisdom to speak his word. We know that we are living in the end times and uh, as, you are, as you, when you, you put your heart to save God, the devil will not leave you alone. But that does not astonish me or make me go backward, but it is just like a, like a fuel for me to move forward because I know that the one who is me is bigger than the one who is against me. So today I want to just create this, this short video, it won't be so long because I cannot stand for so long, uh, I can fall down. So I, I, I just have to, to make it short and by God's grace. Uh, this is from the question came from Brian and uh, said, where are the truest days from the uh, the video is which I posted about the heroes in the CDA church. My intention of that video is not to expose the CDA church or tell anything wrong about our church because I'm still there and I'm not among like those who are just shouting against the church and exposing the evil. I don't talk about the church in general. I talk on uh, what is you see in the church and what you need to do as a member that you need to stay, but uh, people are asking, where is the true SDG church? The, this SDG church, if you can study the Bible, you find that it came from the prophecy, uh, the remnant. Uh, so this group is the group that was formed under the reading of the Holy Spirit, because it is fulfilling the prophecy and proclaiming those three angels' messages. Uh, but to be the group of God does not make it that all people in that will be the, the will be holy, no. And does not qualify to be the true church in the uh, essence of individuals. Because uh, this is the group that God has ordained, or was given for the uh, mission. But still, God has different people doing his work in different churches. And all of them, they are the church. So we cannot talk about that church which is invisible. But we can talk about the church which we can see. So if you want to see the true church, SDA church, you want it is where you are. You want to go somewhere else to find it. In every church where you will go, you will find their evils. Some, they, they may differ in degrees, because I've visited different churches, I've heard, I've seen things which are not good in different churches and uh, today churches, and uh, things from pastors, leaders, but that does not qualify to become the church of God. And this has led people to leave the church because they have seen things which are not light. And so they, they, they are prompted to leave the church. I tell you, if you see the evil in the CDA church and you are prompted to leave, the one who led you to see those evil is not God, it's the devil. <laughs> I have to tell you the truth, though it is painful, but I have to tell you the truth that if you have been in the church and you have seen the evil of pastors, of elders, but, watch out the, the last statement I make, but after seeing the
after seeing those evils and iniquities that they are doing, you are prompted to leave the church or to stay at home. The one who led you to see those evil is not God. If God leads you to see somebody's sin, he will give you the spirit of intercession to pray for that person. He will not give you the spirit of leaving the flock and separate and start your own church. I'm sorry for those who are starting their own church, though they worship on Saturday. They are being swifted out. So that's why when the, those people were leaving the church and they call themselves they are now pure, what they do always, their focus is not mission. Their focus is to dig out the wrongs in the general SDA church. So, I've told you the truth. That's, that's what we need to understand. So, my friends, where, what do I need to do if I've seen almost the church is full of hypocrisy and uh, evils and maybe fornications, witchcrafts, um, and a lot of sin, uh, bribes, uh, strifes. And uh, the Bible has clear, has clear answers what to do. Let us go to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22, the Bible says, Shun youth for us and free from them and aim at and pursue righteousness, all that is vicious and good, right living, conformity to the will of God in thought, word, and deed. And aim at and pursue faith, love, and peace harmony and concord with others. In fellowship with all Christians who call upon the Lord out of a pure heart. When you have accepted Jesus Christ and your heart is right with God and you have the Holy Spirit, you are a new creation. I don't say you are a new creature. I have a reason for that. You are a new creation. And then you, you, you find things which makes you sorrowful in the church. At any level of leadership, maybe to the conference level, the division level, or in any, no matter what leader, you, no, no matter what position you hold, but you find those things the Holy Spirit will join you with other people who have pure hearts. So that together you may pray and seek God to intervene for what evil is done. Surely, this because the group which has been given the special mission believes Satan will bring people within this church. He won't leave them and he has done so many times. He has brought pierced pastors, leaders and members in this church. If he was able to bring Judas to Jesus Christ, you know he can do it even today. Who are we that he cannot? So if you manage to do that, he can do it also. I'm about to, I'm about to finish because I, I think that things are not good in my health and I cannot stand longer. But I want to encourage you that any evil you see, stay in the church, pray. Do not leave the church, please. Do not leave the church, not leave the city church. Stay, call upon the name of the Lord. Worship God in the spirit yourself. Build your spirit, not focus on the evils of the church. God has a big heart.
Maybe one day we shall discuss about that subject of the God who has big heart. But I know Stan has said it, but he cannot make anything wrong. But I want to encourage you. Leave the troubles of the church which you cannot bear because your heart is not like the heart of God. Just make sure you are filled with the Holy Spirit. You do your part as a Christian because God looks at you like an apple of his eye. Your genuine Christianity and men in the church, others will come who have pure heart. They will seek the person whom they can join together and seek the Lord together for the sake of the church. Then God will connect you with that person. And what if you leave the church? You're going to become you're going to become cold and then you will your fire will, will just get off. So my friend, stay connected to Jesus. Keep going to the church. Shun away from all evils. Do not try to become religious. Be a Christian. Thank you. May God bless you, man.